Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. All right. It's Trucking Tuesday and I am in my Western Star. I own this truck. I run this town. Let's call a few folks out that's chatted so far. Chris Everett, good to see you, my friend. Gamer TV is here and Polar Bear the Chat. What is RVO Trucking? RVO Trucking is Real and Virtual Outdoors Trucking. RVO Trucking. Donald Long, good to see you. All right. Well, I see everybody has survived the eclipse. <clears throat> Let me make sure I've got audio. I uh, I got it. The eclipse was an eventful thing around here in North Texas. A lot of folks from out of town come in and uh, they're moving over to Miami. And uh, <clears throat> to the Metroplex area here where I live to uh, witness the eclipse. Got a good shot of it. And then it come a, a big, big rain uh, last night. Got good rain last night. Storms rolled through, but luckily for us, not a lot of damage. It didn't tear up anything. Just did good old soaking. So we kind of got a twofer. We had a little bit of money rolling in for the economy and a good, and a good rain. Uh, needed both. All right. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the folks in the background that's watching. I always try to remember to thank you. I know there's a lot of people that watch my channel in the background that don't chat, and I encourage you to join us and chat sometime. We don't bite. Uh, well, maybe once. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a job today from Dallas to Odessa. And this is going to be for uh, home accessories, it says. It's basically a Home Depot job. They just don't have a Home Depot license to use the name. But that's what it is if you look at the building and everything. It's a Home Depot job. Uh, Thursday, I am going to be playing a new game on Thursday. I have bought World of Shooting is on Steam. It is a new game that is it is actually an early release and it is it is a target range gun but it is a race gun and uh, uh, format and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's something y'all going to enjoy to see. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's been a little challenging for me coming out of the gate with it because you have to play with a mouse and a keyboard. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I don't have many games that I play mouse and keyboard, so. But I'm improving uh, with it every day, so I think I'll be able to put on a pretty good show. For those of you that are not familiar with what the term race gun is, it is a shooting competition. You have a timed obstacle course where there's shooting involved that you have to complete the obstacle course. Accuracy and timing is essential. Oh, Cindy. Cindy, I watched your live the other day. I didn't get to come in to chat. I was working on a project. But I watched your live the other night. You and Travis is out there fishing. All right. We're going to get in this truck and get on down the road and we'll talk as we go. Picture looks good. I've adjusted my camera over in the bottom left. 
kind of cut out some of the background and focused more on me. Uh, I found some settings to do that, so we're trying that out. We're crazy. Yes, ma'am. I would uh, absolutely agree with that analogy. All right, this is the truck. This is the Western Star. I own this truck. And as you can see, this is a home store. Yeah, it's a Home Depot. Everybody knows it. Uh, and we're hooked up. Just a basic red long trailer. And we're going to go to Odessa. I do have the mods on. So up in the top, you may able to see speed I'm running, how much fuel I've got, etc. Nick Ramsey. All right. You drive and I'll navigate. You do that. Let's crank this Western Star up. Get her on out of Dodge. See if I can get it out of here that getting run over showing up. Turn left. They have some accessories for this game that I have full intentions on getting. They're a little expensive down the road. They have a headgear Keep that left. you can wear. Then turn left. That basically, when I turn my head, looks that direction. Turn left. Which would be nice. Because when I'm driving this truck, I have to use the stick to look that way. And sometimes it's a little complicated on getting it back in the right spot. Uh, I think they're about 200 on that little toy. I'm also going to be getting a second monitor. Continue straight. For my computer, I'm working on one monitor, so I've kind of got the overlay. Keep right, then turn right. Of the game. Turn right over my OBS and struck just enough where I can see the chat. So when I get that other monitor, I'll be able to look over there to the left and read y'all's chat and make any adjustments with OBS during the stream without taking things up and down, which will be nice. And it will also give me an extra monitor to turn on an extra live stream if somebody's out fishing. I do have two TVs on the wall. One of them I used to watch sports on. The other one I usually got YouTube on or movies or something. But sometimes more than one person's fishing. And with an extra monitor, I can have two streams going. Waiting on that big fish I gotta get over. We're on Stay to the left. W and we're headed to Odessa. Week five of the Virtual Fishing League is underway. I have caught a bag. It is not a very good bag. I'm gonna try to fish some this afternoon, some tonight. Small mouth's gonna be a little challenging for me. I haven't fished for those much. So I gotta do a little better so I can try to stay up in the points. I think I'm somewhere about 20. Stay to the left. Behind Buck Williams right now. But if we'll ever get some bigger fish on that wheel, I might be able to run him down a little bit. Lock in the radar, the uh, radar, the cruise control. In just a second, 75. We are at 75 mile an hour territory, and that's what I'm gonna knock it in, lock it in at. 
in jagged sea. Hog Lake had a very good week last week for the Virtual Fish League. He won again last week and won the week before. So he's, he's been on kind of a roll. We also been working on the community farm a little bit. So we're going to start doing some lives on that on Sunday night. <clears throat> Not every Sunday, but we are going to start doing some lives on it. And that will be myself, Timmy, Bullock, Kelly, Coach. Come on, cars. Hog leg. And says go on the stand. So if everybody can be there, so everybody can be there every Sunday. But there'll be some of us there working it. We do a live. Whoever's there, you'll be able to see their screen and what we're doing. Also, I have. Uh, we're gonna be doing the virtual. Fishing League Season 2 in about, a, in about two months and that's going to be done every one of those episodes is going to be on live we're going to do it on Tuesday night after uh, Creo and Roger are getting done with their show we're going to have a three hour live we're going to fish on Tuesday nights all the competitors in the Virtual Fishing League will be on the screen uh that are able to go live or they're able to broadcast and we're gonna we're gonna run that live so you'll be able to see everybody fishing at the same time it's gonna be three hours Tuesday night whoever has the biggest three fish stay to the left me. we'll win the night we'll win the week and that is the only time that we're gonna be open to fish we cut down on some of this grinding uh, and kind of make it a little bit more fair for people who don't have as much time to play. I don't like to slow down. We got a wreck, folks. We got a wreck. Stan must come through here. Yeah, that's a disaster. Oh, for that car smashed in. Buck Williams eat chicken. Uh, Buck, are you eating the part of the chicken that Stan told me to buy last night? We have a Discord that we go in every night a little bit and talk. Rather, uh, aggravate each other. Argue sometime about some things. So if you're interested in that visiting with us, send me a message and I'll add you to Discord. But be advised it is not always PG rated. <laughs> Put that disclaimer on it. Right now, we try to we try to put that out there so nobody will come in and be shocked. But I think y'all pretty much know me well enough right now, by now, not to be shocked too much. We've been, like I said, we've been farming on Sunday nights. Uh, you ordered it special? Yeah. Well, I got lucky there. I didn't even look over there to see if there's a car back there. I, I got to get a better after doing that. 
I wasn't supposed to do that either, but I ain't breaking my speed. Um, so we've been working on the farm. Well, and, 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 and really, too, we've been working on it more than just Sundays. I, I, I worked on it yesterday some. I'll try to get a little work done on it today. But I do need to go fish because my bag is not all that great. I'm not going to do that well this week, I don't think. These smallmouths are a little bit of a... These are probably one of the least fish that I've fished for. Uh, in game, so. Stay to the left. Stay to the left, she says. I have an Xbox. I did moved it into the other room was hooked into a big TV. I went and downloaded some games. Stay to the right. Stay to the right now. Lady, you gotta make up your mind. Went and downloaded some games on it. I downloaded NBA 2K24. I have not played it yet. It's been out a while. Stay uh, to the left. Oh, God, look out. <sighs> I didn't see the construction sign back here, folks. I must have missed that. That little car you see me getting over. Well, you stupid. Now you see me getting over. Updating, please wait. Yeah, she's gonna have to update me. I have not played NBA 2K24. They, I, I heard the reviews on it was not all that great. But I figured it was free to download it, so I'm going to give it a try. I got some of the wife's, me and the wife bought some card game stuff to play on the Xbox, so. They do more arguing than they do farming. Well. I try not to argue about too much on that doggone thing, but they do a pretty good job. I'm just there to work. I'm just the hired help. I'm just the hired help. Continue straight. Sometimes there's value in just being the worker. <laughs> Everybody's got a difference of opinion on which direction to go in, I guess. Uh, in a quarter mile, turn left. Now the truth is, it's not all that hard. You plant the stuff. You wait for turn it to grow, you harvest, you make money. That's all there is to it. But, everybody's got a different idea about how to get there, I guess. Uh, oh, I didn't see that car. I did not see that car. And I was looking out of the mirror. Wow, that jumper hit my truck. Absolutely did not see that. And I was looking up that way. I may have to adjust that mirror. I must have a blind spot back there.
Let that dipstick won't crowd me like that again. Had a small crisis yesterday. I was sitting here playing a game. I kept hearing, I started hearing water running. I'm like, well, I've got the washing machine on or something, you know. And I realized it water dripping from somewhere. Had a water leak and flooded the laundry room. It wasn't too off bad. It wasn't good, but didn't do any damage. Really, anything water was coming out of the water sprinkler up there. Well, I had to stop used to clean that disaster up, but it happens. Good thing I heard that. Well, I said, I'm surprised you heard that. You usually don't hear stuff like that with your hearing. She don't know it. I just got selective hearing. But she just thinks I got bad hearing. I hear. That sun shining on me like that. It's kind of got this road a little... Right, like she can get me. We got 58 miles to go. I did not even see that car back here. I, I, I was looking that way and didn't even see it. Stay to the left. I do pretty good as long as there ain't no cars around me. We'll probably pick up a job here in Odessa and just continue on. Might just pick up another job right there at that Home Depot. If they got one available. I do have the mods installed on the maps. So, we can pretty much go anywhere if there's a preference y'all want to see me drive somewhere. Dark. Eight o'clock. That's seven pitch more close enough, right? Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Get on that brake. Go ahead and turn my lights on. Why are we stopped in the middle of the doggone road, fella? I guess he's supposed to stop. Continue right? straight. Okay. My bad. Oh, I just run to yellow. Might as well make it on it run the red too.
in a quarter mile, turn right. We are right here where this load is going. Turn right. It's going to Walberts, I think. Oh, it's kind of a wide turn. You have reached your destination. We be able to pick up a job right here from Walberts. And there's my parking spot. Let's see if I can put it on, land it on the landing pad. Just a little off, but I got it. All right. Job complete, ladies and gentlemen. That's $14,000 total. I moved up to level 51. Let's see if there's any jobs. <coughs> Excuse me. See if there's any jobs that I want to take here. It's not 400 miles. Or it's not 1,200 miles, rather. It don't look like it. There is one to Wyoming. What is this? 816 miles. Ah. Uh, hmm. From Odessa to Logan, Utah. Pays good, 63K. I think we will. I'm sorry, I was quoted that wrong. It's forklifts. <clears throat> it's forklifts, and we're going to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Well, that's a $66,000 job. We're going to take that. It's 800 You drive, miles. and I'll navigate. Let's go hook it up. We're right here at it. So we might as well take this for 66 k That'll come close to putting me over a $2 million profit in this game. Well, let's, let's back it up. Hook him forklifts. It shouldn't be too awful hard to carry a load of forklifts. They're not the trailers down all that big. Alright. Updating, please wait. Well, let me get the trailer before you start shouting orders, lady. Ah, oh, yeah, this trailer shouldn't be too bad to haul. Wyoming. You drive, it. and I'll navigate. Alright. <clears throat> we got enough fuel for now, so we're just gonna... go on and pick up some fuel on the way. Truck's in good shape. That's the one I just dropped off. Let me make sure this trailer's on here. I hate to get halfway there and then figure out I didn't have it. Good afternoon, Team Snag and Whispers. Oh no, she uh, turn left. The, uh, I have that, uh, Yara mod going, which is basically where it splits the, uh, information off of the route advisory up on top where I can see the speed limit and things a little better. And that comes with a voice package of its own. So I can change the voice package. This is Gina. Her name is Gina. Instead of Skype. So. So it's just she the other one's still there, I just got it changed. I got several. Uh, 
names. I can't wait till Thursday where I can run that race guy. That, that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I've lots of stages on that Continue game. Continue straight. Of, a lot of fun stages. And there's a lot of stuff on that new game that is just... And to be an early release, it's still got a lot of features to it. Uh, I bought... The, I bought the Gun Club account for it. it gives me access to shoot. Uh, there's just quite a few guns on there to shoot. I mean, there's rifles and shotguns and pistols and etc. and machine guns. And, uh, but you have to you have to earn them in XP points to to get them. So I've been running a Makarov. 9 by 18 pistol on stage 1 and on stage 2 I'm running a Browning high power 9 the Browning is a lot nicer than the easier to handle than the uh, Micron so so we're going to go do a little shooting on the range they're supposed to be adding a lot more content to that game. Like I said, it just came out a couple of days ago. I've been wanting a target range game like that for a long time. They made some games in the past that wasn't only great. So. This one's got promise. All right, we're on the way, folks. To Cheyenne, Wyoming. Yeah, it's going. It's it's a pretty cool game. I I've been playing it quite a bit. It's a little bit of a learning curve because I'm not used to playing with a keyboard and mouse. Uh, so I've kind of had to. I should have stopped there, but I didn't. I think I run every stop sign in Odessa right there, folks. Uh, so it's been a little challenging. You, you aim with the, the mouse. Ooh, I think I went the wrong. Am I on the wrong side of the road? No, I'm not. I don't know what that car was doing there. Yeah, long haul. In a quarter mile, turn left. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and top off the fuel tank right here. I think I can get fuel here. I gotta see if there's a a green canister there for me. Nope, can't get fuel at that one. I can get it across the street. I'll get it later. I don't have to have it right now. Turn left. Just thought that might be convenient to get it there. So I've been just kind of shooting all the guns that was in the game, playing with them, see which one I like the best. You have to use a different weapon for the different stages. Stage one is the Macaron. And then when I got to stage two, I got the Browning 9mm and so on. You have to kind of upgrade the weapon. But there's upgrades for the weapons that you have to earn. Trigger kits and barrel precision barrels and it does make the guns easier to shoot makes the aiming a lot more quicker and faster so it does affect the game with the upgrades i put some upgrades on the Macroff. even though i've already passed tier one i still run it because i get xp points for
we will play that on Thursday. All right, we are rolling. I got some construction work up here. So I'm not going to get to going too fast. Got to find a little time to fish for the dog on small mouth. <clears throat> you know, when I started this virtual fishing league, I wanted everybody to have an opportunity to participate. I was worried about people that didn't have the time. Mostly the people that worked and that didn't have the time to play. I wanted everybody to have an opportunity to be in it. So we, I pretty much opened it up on Monday morning and closed it on Saturday morning and let you fish any time. And eight weeks of that, trying to level up, level up, level up, level up, is tough. It's a grind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink it down to one night and we're gonna broadcast it. I want it to grow. I'd like for it to grow. Just like any league. They have other leagues like I'm doing going on Continue straight. YouTube Tackle Tuesday is one of them. Uh Continue straight. Tackle Tuesday is one of them. And uh, that's the way they're doing it on Tackle Tuesday. They're just having one day where everybody's fishing, and that's the week. More like a tournament. But I've got some ideas to do some tournaments. Continue straight. It's a grind if you can't fish like crow. <clears throat> Well, you say that, but I can fish. But no, I do not dedicate the time that y'all been dedicating to it, no. Nor am I going to. <laughs> Nor am I going to. Chrissy Brown, I think it's Chrissy's birthday today. I believe it's Chrissy's birthday today. If it's not today, it was yesterday, but I think it's today. Anyway, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you are having a blessed day. And happy 25th birthday. Continue straight. You gotta stop and get up here. No. I seen red and blue lights. So we have a stoppage. You're very welcome, my friend. Uh, we will be going to the next map which is the Norway map on the Angler for the next round of the BFL. Stay so to the I left. I think that I'm probably okay by saying this on here today. Um, pretty much everybody that's here is in the know on it. Uh, as most of you know, Hogleg's little dog, little Chihuahua, has been sick. Uh, and the little puppy passed away this morning. Uh, last night. So, uh, I talked to them a while ago uh, Melissa called me and told me, so they're going, they've been up all night, they're going to go get some rest, so if you get a chance later, send them a message, uh, they had the little puppy for 16 years, and he'd been a part of their family, and 
they lost him last night, so. All right, we're rolling. Yeah. He went peacefully. So. I know it's a difficult thing to lose one. I lost one of mine not too long ago, so. Uh, the hardest part was have to tell my wife, but in any event. So later on today, after they get them a little bit of sleep, you might send them an attaboy message. Put a smile on their face. They're good people. I talk to Hogleg just about every day. We usually get on Discord and do some type of talking and gaming or something. Almost in the road back there. Good night, Irene. Y'all need to move that over to the shoulder a little bit. Good lord, this construction. That man and their brother must be going to dinner tonight. You don't have to wait on me, fella. Come on, get it in here. Uh, uh, I can do that too. All right. We back up and running. I have got large gas tanks on this truck. So we're still good on fuel. I'm going to get it when it's convenient. Without having to go. I'm looking for a spot I can get it on my, off the highway. Without having to go into the little old town. Getting this big truck. Even though this trailer is not all that large. Into a podunk town. is always a challenge getting out of there without getting run over. Ernie! Getting the chili ready for dinner. That sounds good, Ernie. Wife and I are going to have salmon tonight. As a lot of you know, I do all the, the grocery shopping for the house, for the wife. I ordered some salmon stuff, crab salmon. It's supposed to be pretty good. So we're going to see. We're going to have that tonight. We're going to have it last night. And we had the flooding catastrophe. Me and the wife said, let's order a pizza. Okay. Whatever you want to do, baby. Now I do what now? I got I to gotta, I gotta stop this and read that because I think I misread that. I saw Lyle Stokes secretly fishing in the game. <laughs> okay, I got you now. Uh, you saw an avatar of Lyle. Oh my God. I thought you could tell me Lyle didn't want to play in video games. I had to do a double take on that. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
There are some character avatars in that game. They do have some characters on there. I need to get some time. I want to do some modding to the Euro Truck Simulator. When I play this game, when I put it on the convoys, I have to pretty much take the mods in and out. It's not hard to do. It's just remember to do it because if you're playing on the convoy, other people that don't have the mods can't join the convoy. So I have to take them out with convoy. Nobody plays Euro Trucking Simulator 2. And I get a lot of requests for that game. There's a lot of people overseas that like to see me play that game. Uh, some of my overseas viewers really Stay enjoy to the, left. the Euro Truck Simulator. So. I would prefer to drive these trucks, but... The, the, the scenery over there is quite beautiful. Uh, I'm going to try to sneak in a little baseball game every once in a while. I was going to start doing a day of baseball. But I think we're going to start trying to do the farm on Sunday nights. That'll be a live. That'll be three lives a week. So, I'm kind of held off on adding a day. And then, of course, we're going to be doing the virtual fishing league. Second season. Starting in July. On live. So, I'm going to have about four streams a week going. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. <clears throat> need to, I need to open up the police game, make sure that it's still working right, make sure all my mods are up to date on it. Need to need to have a patrol night. We haven't done that in a while. I have a few folks that really like the police game. I try to mix in a little something for everyone. If I can. They're going to be adding some new features to the fishing game this soon that I think is going to change uh, a lot of the gameplay on it. I do know that they're working on multiple rod usage abilities and etc. Uh, knowing that, I have found, driving around the map, I found a lot of good spots where I'd like to set up fish from the bank. A lot of pretty spots. Big, nice. Uh, a couple of them, big flat Continue rocks. straight. Set up a whole camp up there and fish, but some of that stuff's going to be coming to the angler. Uh, probably sooner than later. Continue straight. So the game I'm going to play on Thursday is actually a free game. Uh, it does have a DLC that you can buy. Which gives you a lot more guns to shoot on the range. they got to make their money somehow, right? It's going to be one of those games... I think where it's going to be DLC driven. They're going to come out with new stuff. You're going to Stay have to, to the right. DLCs, but it's pretty fun. Uh, 
and I just happened to come across it. I think it only got released like the day before I found it, so I'm just in there looking around at stuff. What is this? I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, that's right up my alley. We got it. I was looking at the weather forecast today. It's going to be 90 here on Thursday. Getting hot here already, folks. Texas gets hot quick. I want to remind everybody that I will not be live on Tuesday the 16th for Trucking Tuesday. We're going to miss that day. I've got an appointment with a physical therapist for the last meeting that I have to have. Cross your fingers for the new power wheelchair. I have to go to the physical therapist on that. So they can identify that I still cannot walk. They've been waiting 50 years for it to change, and it has not changed. Continue but straight. It is a requirement. You know, my needs documenting what I need for the wheelchair, and then keep left, then turn left. They'll run it through the insurance company. Turn left. The insurance company will probably cry, and then we'll get it approved. It takes about a year to get one, and once they get it approved, it takes literally 21 days to, to build the chair from the ground up and to ship it and deliver it. So, 300 and 44 days to get the get to that point and then 21 days to get it. You gotta love the system, right? About we're under 400, we're under 500 miles. Continue straight. Messed that up. I'm gonna whoop in here right quick and fill her up. Oh no! Dude! I guess that was my fault. I said the wrong dog on lane. Get out of the way, fella. Move that truck. I thought I was in the right lane. I what? <clears throat> see if I had that headgear, I could look that way real quick. Saw that that truck was there. I didn't see that truck. That gimmick. There ain't no fuel tank on this side. Oh my god. Got a 
be kidding. All right, we got it in there. We sort of bounced it in there, but we got it in there. Roger and Creole will be live tonight. Panfish Nation tomorrow night. Don't want to miss those shows. I got to get my fishes stream back up here. I've been watching them. Crop the fish at the barge. I like the I like the run is over with. Excuse me. It's a certain time of the year. That those fish will kind of move in those boat docks. Generally, March, February, and middle Feb, and in March, those fish will move in those boat docks. And they slay those crappies. The crappie house I used to fish at, at Lake Whitney, was that way. And uh, I'm gonna back this out of here and go around. And the one up here was that way too. They catch a lot of crappie out there in February and March. They're staging fish. They get in that 10 to 12 foot of water, 14 sometime. And a holding pattern waiting for the water to warm up enough to go up spawn and there's a lot of fish caught during that time. I think the fish in Oklahoma have went to the shallows. I see less and less fish being caught. They really caught some nice ones this early spring. Fish over two pounds. Piggy! What's going on, Piggy? Good to see you. Continue straight. I hear a train somewhere. But they're catching less and less fish. So that tells me that they're probably gone to that next stage or might be right up over the bank. I wish I was a little closer to that place. It's about a three hour Continue drive straight. from my house. Very wheelchair accessible. They have a lot of tournaments up there. I think they do a weekly in barge tournament. I think the fish that won it last week weighed over two pounds. Very Continue straight. Nice problem. Now, unfortunately, it is getting into the time. Fishing is going to be slow. A hot days is a little slow in that around that dock. Those fish will concentrate out now towards the middle of the lake. Deep brush piles and drop offs. But they will be back in the fall. I need to, they need to make a, a feature on that game for the angler where you rush your spot out to fish. I need a mating spot. Especially on these smallmouth bass, they're going to be a challenge for me. I gotta try to get on that today or tomorrow. It may be tomorrow. I need to go do a little bit on the farm tonight. So maybe tomorrow before I need to fish a whole lot.
Oh Lord. That's Buck Williams with his conspiracy theories. Lord have mercy. Continue straight. I heard those some of those conspiracies last night. The chat in that Discord is quite interesting. No telling what you love to hear in there. Continue straight. Good Lord, what we got going on here? Fear will come on. Let's get on down the road, people. Hog leg, tied, the record for the biggest smallmouth bass last night on the angler. Now when I say the record, I'm not talking about the record amongst us guys. I'm talking about the all-time record, which was 6.61, and he tied that last night. They have a section on the Discord where you can submit a new record and be put in the record books for the angler. And he needed one more ounce to topple the previous record. But that is a very nice fish. I explained this the other day. Someone will, will say, well, if you catch the biggest fish in the game, how do you break the record? That's another cool feature of the angler. When someone catches the biggest fish in the game, because it's on a server, they go in, the makers of the game go in and put a little bit bigger fish in there. So when someone sets a record, they spawn a new fish that's a little bit bigger into the pool to give somebody an opportunity to go for the record. So the record is always evolving and changing, and I think it's a very cool feature um, that they got going on. Well, oh, this traffic is a mess up here. Come on now. Be glad to get off this road. He caught it in the first. Yes, he did. Caught it in the first. But a lot of police on this road. That was that's a cool feature that you can actually set a record. Now, you think about that. Of all the people that play this game, no telling how many people play in this game, thousands of people, to have a record fish is quite a, a neat little wrinkle. Almost had one big enough. listening to me talk about that and you want to know how in the world can I find the record for the angler it is on the angler discord you join their discord once you join the discord and you look on the left side of the page there will be a page I can get over there will be a page Continue straight. called resources and that will give you 
Take you to another page. It shows Keep right. All the then turn right. For the angler and several other. Turn right. Great features. Uh oh. I done made a mistake. I turned around. I went to turn right too quick. <clears throat> she said turn right. I turned right. I done pulled to somebody's parking lot. Now I gotta get this joker out of here. It's all too fun. I'd like to be able to crow across that grass right there, but they got it fenced off. So we'll just have to make it work. <clears throat> Without jackknifing it, of course. I don't know what I hit. Oh my god, I wiped out a pole. Doggone it. I turned into a parking lot. This is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. We're back going now. Good grief. I got some serious blind spots on these mirrors I need to fix. All right, we are back on the road. That billboard sign back there said something about the highway patrol. I missed it. We must be going through New Mexico here. It's got to be New Mexico. Let me look on the map real quick. See if I'm right. Yeah. I am. Uh, we're right in the middle of it. Take a little pause here a second. And we'll get back at it. got some other folks that's been inquiring about joining the angler VFL Dave Bosworth is one of them I think Dave's trying to get his game and computer going we got some folks that's interested in Stay doing to the left. Time, so. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're having a lot of fun with it. We're, we're having a lot of fun with it. Probably need to get off this thing here when I'm done with this live stream. And go Stay to the left. Shady Acres Farm and run that combine. Fast with them. 82. I'm going fast with this road up there. Back it out a little bit. About 75 on work. Let's just lock it in at 75 and be done with it. 
That cruise control was nice. On this game, you don't have to hold that button all the time. Some of these trucks you get in driving some of these trucks there up. Don't have a lot of power, so you really gotta keep your foot on the gas pedal and get up a hill. This truck here's got a big engine in it. I bought the big engine for it and a big tranny to put in it. Probably should have drove this truck during the death race. But I built the truck for that. I think actually this truck is probably a little faster truck. Getting up and down the speed than the one I built. But I didn't want to tear up my good truck. Race it again standing. Holy. I'm going to pass this car in an area where I shouldn't and hope it works out. Good, it didn't. I hit that. What in the world happened back there? Hit that reflector. That was not good. I told you I should have done that. Steve Adams be on here a little while telling me I can't drive with the lead. Oh God, this is a tight fit. Please. Uh oh, that dunny. Couldn't hold it. That did not turn out too good. I was in trouble from the beginning on that. Couldn't stop in time. Well, there's your wreck. <laughs> There's your wreck for the wreck fans. That's probably a $10,000 wreck. Golly. I should have just slammed over the brakes. Probably. Would y'all like to get in the truck and ride with me? Stay to the left. I give you a ride you'll never forget. That was rough. As Roscoe P. Cole Train would say, that's a horrendous crash. Stay to the left. So I was reading, speaking of the Dukes of Hazard, I was reading something the other day. I guess Catherine Buck. John Snyder and Tom Wolfpack, which was, as you probably know, Daisy and Bo and Luke Du, the characters they played, met up not too long ago and was reminiscing about the old days. I think they're trying to maybe do a, some sort of Dukes of Hazard show. That's what I'm hearing. Read that little tidbit article the other day. It used to be one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Stay to the left. Don't know if that'll ever come to pass. There's a lot of shows that they talk about doing things with the used. Stay them to back. the left. 
doing some kind of special event. They don't get done, but I think that would be cool to see that. They did some movies and things. They were okay. But I wouldn't mind seeing a kind of a last hurrah. The show kind of ended abruptly. I think it died before its time. I think they probably gave up on it too soon. It's still widely popular. They have some museums for the Dukes of Hazzard. Oh God, what are you doing? Well, he liked to call us the wreck right there. Now, that was on him. They have some museums for... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. His real name. The guy that played Cooter Davenport owns a museum. Uh... Of the Dukes of Hazard memorabilia. It will be called Dementia of Hazard. Well, you think so? Those, those folks are not all that old. Uh, hello, Eileen. How are you? Those people are not that old. Catherine Buck's still a pretty good looking, pretty good looking woman for her age. Uh, so stay to the left. As y'all can see I'm just cruising now. Running to about 80 and 55. Got 131 miles to go to wrap this load up. Hopefully, we've had all the wrecks we're going to have. Maybe I can stay on this highway for a good spell. And <clears throat> chew some of this road up. Oh, Jody. Good to see you. Congratulations on doing good on the tournament, the Uno tournament the other time. I stopped in and said hello to everybody on all three channels and give my three channels as Aaron and a thumbs up. Stayed a few minutes. Oh, God, them signs are really sticking out there on the road. They need to move those over some. Got a little construction up Stay here. Stay to the left. I'm hopefully going to get past all this. We are going to, this is week five of the Virtual Fishing League. Uh, Stay to the left. So, of course, there'll be a live stream on Sunday to announce week five's winner. And then we'll spin the wheel for the species for week six. Stay to the left. So we have got three more weeks after this week. 
which will run us until June. I believe I'm correct on that arithmetic without looking at the calendar. Might be the first week in June, I'd have to read it a little. And then we're going to take a little time off and probably start again about the first week or second week in July. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up again is because I am going to try to spawn a tournament or two out of the Virtual Fishing League during the off time. That would be a one night tournament. Kind of give you a preview of what the league is going to be like when we do it live on Tuesday nights. And I think because the league's going to be over with anyway when I do those tournaments it is not going to be only for the guys that fish the league. I think I'm going to bet somebody wants to sign up and do the tournament let you come on in and join us. I had some guys that signed up for the league and for whatever did, didn't get to Stay to the left. And fish, but if you're interested in maybe doing one of those tournaments, I would be open to let you in. We're not just going to close it to the league, people. We have some interesting concepts that's been tossed around in the chat room about some tournaments. Keep right, and then exit right. And I have got an idea. Exit right. About doing one on point system. So, we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to need to get me in. somebody to read chat for us that night because I think my usual chat, my, my usual go to guy that I get to read chat is probably going to be in the tournament. may have to go do me a little big and <laughs> get me somebody to read chat. Keep right, and then exit right. Kind of hard to play the game and to read chat sometimes. Exit right. I don't like missing anything. Somebody is asking a question or coming in. I try to keep up with the best I can when I Turn drive left. the truck. But I do know that I miss some stuff sometimes. <clears throat> we are in Wyoming, good people. We are in Wyoming. And I am probably going to go repair this truck at that ranch up there that you can see on this map. Which is right in here. After I drop this load off, I'm going to go right over here and repair this truck. And I'm probably going to park this truck and pick up a one more short job and drive one more for y'all, but it will be in a company truck. And I will be live on Thursday running the race gun for the new shooting range game that I bought that I absolutely really enjoy. So y'all come watch me run the race gun, run the off course and do a race gun. That is something that I've always been interested in uh, is race gun competition. But we're that's something that I would not be able to do. My physical limitations would prevent me from doing that. So keep right. Nice that they made a then game. turn right. I 
I do like to go to the range and shoot, and I do do that. Turn some. right. And I'm a very good shot with a handgun. Uh, in fact, I have a video of me running a semi-automatic handgun on my YouTube. Keep channel. right and continue straight ahead. Continue Brand straight. Gun that I bought. But race gun competition, that's I don't have the physical abilities to do that. So the game is pretty cool. And we're gonna have some we're gonna have some Continue fun straight. With that. And then I'm going to uh, have some announcements on the I just rode rough. Good gravy. Like I knocked the bottom out of this truck. Golly. Need to fix your road. Use some of your tax money to fix your roads. I'm going to have some announcements later in the month as we get closer to the end in of the video. In a quarter mile, about turn some right. Tournaments. I've been taking some suggestions and listening to some of my competitors and trying to figure out some turn right. tournaments. And those will be done on the live. And they'll be done at night. You have reached your destination. So everybody can pull up a chair and watch. Ah. Let me drop this load. Well, I got $55,000 on that job. However, I had some mishaps and it's going to cost me a little money. So let's go find out how much it's going to cost. I'm going to drive this over here and do a repair job. You drive and I'll navigate. It won't take long and then I'm going to pick up another truck and we're going to run a short trip. Turn left. That road back there was rough. I mean, that was horrendous. That probably, that little jostling round kind of damaged their trailer a little bit. It sent me a notification that I had some trailer damage on that road. We're going to take it a little slower getting out of here. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm gonna tear up your truck. Continue straight. Glad to be off of that. Nice little neighborhood right here. Turn left. Almost there. In a quarter mile, turn right. Ashley Bray. Ashley, I accept. Turn right. Friends request on Facebook. Thank you for the for the ad. I do. You have reached your destination. Appreciate it. I have. I follow you on. Something I think it, it's either Instagram or one of the two, Tiki Talk or something like that. I don't know which one it is. <clears throat> oh, this is the wrong spot. I follow you on one of those. Uh, 
social media platforms and I see your little videos and stuff you post. Uh, uh, yes, I want to leave. I don't want to buy a truck. I want to fix the one I've got. I stopped at the wrong spot. Well, let's see what this is going to cost me. Good night. $20,000. God, no. I hate that. Oof. That is expensive, folks. All right, let's go pick up a job. That's the one bad thing about driving your truck. Earn money or your company, you know, I want I want to get a a higher job. We're gonna take a job outside of what we've run so far. Let me see what we can take. Let's take one out of Tennessee. How about one out of Chattanooga? That's one for a hundred and ninety seven miles. From Chattanooga to Auburn, Alabama. I think we'll just take this one right here. A soil excavator. Boy, this ought to be interesting. I may regret this, but we're going to do it anyway. If you guys send me a friend request on Facebook, I will accept it. I a little slow about it sometime. I get so much spam. But I <laughs> I'm in a habit of going to check <clears throat> to make sure somebody's not on my list. Why don't get a false request? All right, let's have a look at this trailer. Hey, how big it is. Oh, this ain't an excavator. This is a... I guess it is a... That's what they call a soil excavator, I guess. Yeah. Excavator saw. Oh. Huh. Excavated saw. Learn to read, Troy. Good night. All right, let's get this joker out of here. You drive, and I'll navigate. You do that. Yeah, those mirrors need a little adjusting. I gotta figure out how to get out of here, though. Now, I'm setting a little further back in this truck. Than I was the last truck. And I can see the back secondary mirror a little better. So maybe that'll help. I need to adjust those in my truck. Chili's done. I gotta get out of here when they get my over. Turn left. Keep left. Get over the then left turn lane. left. Don't park on the train track. Turn left. Uh-oh. 
See, that's where that rotating view would have come in handy. Now I got a red light, of course. Now she said turn left, and I turn left. What's supposed to turn left is the next one. And I'm all crossways side of the road here. Come on. Light, good night. Let me get out of this spot. Turn radius on this truck is Stay to the left. Not the greatest. Let me read Ernie's message. I bet you are. You're going to mess around and get that panel you used on your head. <laughs> uh, Chrissy, if you whack him across the melon with that paddle, I want to make a video of it and send it to me. Oh my god. Uh... Yeah, you'll get you'll get it built up, Ernie. Uh, I'm on. Stay to the right. Start out on Thursday when I run that race count. I'm gonna start on tier one. And let y'all see the tiers that I've run already. And it goes up down, up to tier five. I have not beat tier five yet. Tier five is tough. It gets a lot tougher as you go. But through the first four tiers, I'm averaging about 99s in the world. But it is a new game, so I don't know how many people are playing it. But. He said, I got to see how many friends I got. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I got the 99th fastest score. But I got a long way to go. Don't run too bad. Turn radius on it. It's really wide. I'm going to lock it in at 80. Thank you for coming in, Ashley. I appreciate seeing you. Have a good day at work. Stay to the left. It's nice if folks take a little time to come in when they're busy. I started streaming at 1 o'clock. Doesn't take up any nighttime slots. Appreciate everybody coming in. We're going to have some night streams going for long. multi play stuff. I'm going to start doing that show on Tuesday night for the Virtual Fishing League and, and uh, June and other and, and I think we're going to start farming on Sunday night. Won't be every Sunday. That's a hoot. That farming with four or five of us in there. Steve Adams like knocked me down the hill the other day. Run into me. Trying to, we've tried to unload the grain into a trailer, and the trailer caught on the combine. He had me rolling down the hill. Quite the comedy hour. So, 
server runs great. We got it on the server. It really runs good. A clean, crisp picture. And the game plays. It has a little lag every now and then, but hardly noticeable. Keep right, then turn right. Jimmy set that up for us. Cop, you better move. Turn right. Break some of this truck's not the greatest. Stay to the right. I really had to slow down to make too big a sharp turn in this truck. Radius is not as the air wheel's kind of wobbly. Not tight like mine. Ought to play. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. We're going to get it up to 75 and lock it in. Cutting down trees out there. Keep right, and then exit right. That got me. About time I get this joker up to speed. Exit right. Not, not too difficult for my next tear, so. Should be able to come off this ramp. Pretty good speed. See, I maintained a little speed that time, so kind of built a little up on the downhill run. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Continue straight. I think I can safely run this about 80. I don't think I'd want to run it more faster than 80, though. We're at 75. I got it to the floor, so... We're going to get to 80. It's going to have to have a little downhill help. Made it to 78. <laughs> I may have to get out in my wheelchair and push it to 80. Come on. One more mile, baby. Come on, give it to me. Give me that one mile. Come on. How you, Jimmy? All right, we're locked in on the cruise control. Whatever game creator that made this game decided that cruise control was important enough to put in it. God bless you. <laughs> Stay to the left. That cruise control is worth its weight in gold.
keep right and then exit right. Come on, fella. Exit right. Try not to stop in the middle of the road there. He didn't want to go. How much fuel I got? I got enough fuel. We only four miles away. We parked this trip up fast, did we? Stop and get a picture of this lake here. Pond looking thing. Let's stop and take a look. <laughs> I like to stop every once in a while look at the sights. Let's zoom in on this. That's pretty cool. Oh, we under the dock. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it lights up at night. Let's see. Uh, day and time. Let's let's check it out. Hey, look at that. It does. That's kind of sweet. That's kind of sweet. I'm going to get a picture of this while I'm right here. This will make a great thumbnail right here in front of this car zone sign. I can use this. And that is how it's done. Now that's saved. I can use that to make a thumbnail out of Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Ah. He's saying something about Euro Truck Simulator. I wish I could read that. Keep left, then turn left. I gotta get over. That's the only bad thing about stopping. You gotta get over. I'm just gonna stick my nose out there. You're gonna have to let me get over now, buddy. We are right here. Stop honking at me. Back at you. I'll move when I'm ready. Can't you see you dipstick these people in front of me? Mm -hmm. 
Got a little road rage going on the game here. Turn left. In a quarter mile, turn right. All right. Turn right. <laughs> turn left. Dad, gummy. This truck does not turn. Come you on. have reached your destination. I mean, this Joker's. It ain't got no power steering to it. Turn radius is terrible. Yeah, yeah, that was an adventure getting it in there, wasn't it? Made it. Uh -uh, we made it. <clears throat> so we have almost broke two million dollars. We need to make it ninety one We need to make another uh we need to make about another one nine zero nine. So we need to make a little bit more to get there. He said pow time. <coughs> What's going on, Big Slim? <laughs> you know doggone well you can't rush greatness. Greatness is like good coffee. It takes a while to percolate. Sorry I'm late, but Troy is always behind in the fishing game. So we are even. Uh, I'm, a, I'm ahead of you. You may be the only one. Mm -mm. And I have a feeling if if Carrie Oliver was uh, had been fishing in week one, you might be in last place. <laughs> well, there's plenty of room in the in the back of the doghouse for you. Oh Lord, Eileen's going to fix supper. Piggy smiling right now. All right, guys. It's time for me to go get me a Dr. Pepper. Put this voice to rest. I've got to go work on the farm today. I wouldn't want hog leg to fire me. God bless you and thank you for being part of Real and Virtual Outdoors. And remember, there will be no Tuesday live next week. But I'll see you on Thursday. We're going to run the race gun. God bless you. 
And thank you for being here. I'll see y'all on Thursday. That's all, folks.